Hello guys, welcome to today's lecture. Today I'm going to make a program to find out the nth number of Fibonacci number. Uh, as you know that uh, the, we are going to start from zero. The zeroth element is uh, zero. And uh, the one element is uh, one. And uh, the second element is the two or second the uh, let's just write it as first first or first and the second would be uh, again one because zero plus one will be one and the third the third will be one plus one is equals to two the fourth will be The fourth will be one plus two is equals to three, and so on. So, so guys, we are going to make a program which is going to find out the end uh, Fibonacci number. So, guys, the logic is actually we have to start from the first one. The first one should be already initialized as zero. The second one is already initialized as one but from the third one from the third one we are going to add them for example the zero plus one is one one plus one is two one plus two is three two plus three is equals to five then five plus three eight these this is the series we are going to find the nth element so for this we are going to first let's just include the iStream library or header file and uh, using namespace std so as uh, and uh, main function uh, I'm going to use recursion here and uh, we should have a function here so let's just make a function with the name of fib or Fibonacci and uh, we are going to have a number which is int so here we are going to have a parameter in so inside in function fun uh, main function we are going to have a variable with the name of int and uh, we are going to take the number from the user so let's just uh, enter the int location of uh, Fibonacci series to display backslash t. So guys, uh, we have to take the value from the user and uh, save it inside the int var uh, int variable, and then we just need to send it to function fib, and whatever which comes out from fib will be returned and we are going to display it here so we are going to write another uh, see out and enter fibonacci number is is what is now we are going to call our function whatever value which comes will be sent so here end will be sent inside the function and it will be saved inside in variable then we need to have uh, if condition which is our initial uh, initial condition if n is equals to 0 or n is equals to 1 we just need to return n nothing else here I don't need uh, this bracket so I'm not going to use because we have only one line one statement so here the initial condition is done initial condition is actually tells us when our uh, recur recursive function will end will stop so here we just have when n is equals to 0 and n is equals to 1 just return n else parts and else part we are going to do two things we should add uh, 
the previous of previous which was uh, the previous one and uh, the previous of previous one we are going to add both of them so we are going to say return 5 in minus 1 plus 5 in minus 2 if we find the second the, two, the second so it will be second minus 1 which is 1 1 or first and the second minus two is zero. The zero element plus one element will be the result of our sec second element. So this is our function. So let me just uh, do use while function here, which will uh, let us to do it continuously. So here I'm going to use uh, I'm going to make another variable which is name of char. We are going to name the variable as op and this is equals to y. If, we, if it's okay, we are not going to give this as this one. We are going to use as do. Do. It will start from here till, till here. We are going to do this while here. I'm just going to give a condition. Do it whenever the user enters as op is equals to y y whenever it is y it will be it will be running so before that when the Fibonacci number is displayed I'm just going to uh, give another uh, another message for the user I say enter y to do again so here will be the users twice slash t and cn to take the open so here when the user enters y it will do it again and again so guys let's go through this one uh, it should be it should be named as Fibonacci, Fibonacci number. This so, guys, if there was no error, and uh, thank God, enter the end location of Fibonacci series to display which one you want. If I say zero to one, it will give us zero. Enter Y to do again. So I'm just going to enter Y. So this, if I start from one, it will be one. How about if I say five? What will be the fifth one? Oh sorry here I just need to enter press Y here I just enter 5 to see the end element so of course it will be 5 how about 6 6 6 would be 6 would be 5 plus 3 in 3 because the, mm, before that would be 8 yeah this is working if I find out the second element of course it will be 0 plus 1 which is which is 1 yeah, two. It will be end Fibonacci number is one. Press Y to do it again. And if I find out the third element, it will give me two because one plus one will be two. So this is going on. If I say no or N or any other uh, character, it will exit. So guys, this was the program to find the end element of Fibonacci number. Uh, so guys, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, share it with your friends. Thanks.